Hello everyone, I'm Alex, one of the resident artists at the Iowa Ceramics Center, and we are doing some little tutorial videos about how to make various hand building projects. Um, so for this video, we're going to be doing this little standing bowl. You could use it as like a little planter or something to put like rings in or really whatever you want. Um, and it has these cute little feet and you can decorate it also however you want. I like giving things little faces, so that's what this one has. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to walk through how to do that. So the first step is to grab some clay. I'm going to start off with, this is probably like around half a pound of clay. And I'm just going to kind of pat it into a ball. And so this is for the main body of the pinch pot, the main body of the piece. And I want this to be a nice even ball, because I don't want my pinch pot to be super asymmetrical or lumpy. You can roll it a little. I just want to start with a nice, yeah, nice round ball. Okay, there we go. So then when you're doing any pinch pots, the first step is always to um, start by just sticking your thumb in like this. And of course you don't want to go all the way through to the bottom, um, but you want to go in pretty far. So that's kind of about what it's going to look like. And mine is pretty on center, but you know, you don't want to do your thumb hole all the way over here or anything. So I start with that and then you can have it on your hand or you can put it on a flat surface. I have this little banding wheel, which is handy, but not, not essential. So I'm actually, I'll just keep it on here so you guys can see. Um, and then the key is that you want to do little pinches. So I'm just kind of pinching. And you want to just do like a little pinch at a time and kind of rotate around. And you can, once the hole's big enough, you can have both your hands. And we're just pinching. And you want to be very gentle because you don't want to have like super thin spots, super thick spots. I'm just doing like little, lots of little pinches. And you can also think about what shape you want your little guy to be. Because if you want something kind of wider, you can kind of focus on stretching the clay out. Or if you want to be kind of vertical, you can kind of start at the bottom and kind of pinch up like this. So see how that makes it a lot taller. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit, rotating. Yeah, and this part, you just kind of chug away at it until you're happy. And you don't want it to be too thin. Um, I'd probably say at least a quarter inch wall thickness. Um, if you pinch too hard in one spot and you get a thin part, you can always just grab a little bit of clay. I like to call these like little band-aids. Um, so you can always make a little, you can just make a little band-aid. And say, say you had a thin part in just one spot, you can just set it in there and then the key is just to smear it on really well. If your clay is wet enough, you don't have to worry about scoring too much because as long as you smear it on so it's just like indistinguishable from what's next to it, then you're all good. So that's a way you can reinforce if you made a little thin spot. Keep pinching. If you notice that the bottom is kind of thick, which is true for this one, you can always kind of pinch that area. And then this guy kind of has like a little rounded bottom. So, and this one kind of is flat. So you can kind of change the shape a little bit because you can kind of hold it up like this and kind of pinch that corner in a little bit and kind of push in through the bottom with your thumb just to make it a little bit more cone-like, a little bit more rounded. And say, another problem that people run into um, is that if it's like too wide and they want it to be a little narrower, it's really easy. All you have to do is you can just make a little tear, kind of like that, and then you can just fold it over on itself and then squish that together. So that's kind of like putting a little a pleat in it, sort of. Well, not quite a pleat. And then just, again, just smooth out really well. I think the key to being successful with hand building involves a lot of smoothing. Or you could leave it at least this side. Smooth at least one side, and you'll be good. So I'm just kind of using my fingers to just smooth. And when you're smoothing, you kind of don't want to, like, squeeze too hard. You just want to push that clay or smear that clay around. Sometimes people will get really thin pots. Okay. So that's pretty good. So yeah, this is pretty good. I think it's feeling pretty thin, so we're gonna call this this part good. You can always do more smoothing at the end when you're trying to clean everything up. Okay, so I have the main body, and now I'm gonna work on adding the little legs. So I'm just gonna set this upside down, and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab another chunk of clay, just a little bit. Really, you can do little legs, you can do big legs, you can do four, you can do three. 
Yeah. Okay, so I'm just rolling a coil, and then I'm just going to pinch it into thirds. So I rolled a coil, and now I have three little nuggets. And I kind of wanted them to be tapered on the end. So I think that looks pretty cute. So you can just kind of form it with your hands and kind of like pinch it, pinch it down. Yeah. And I don't want it to be like super thin at the top, so I'm just kind of squishing that down a little bit. And you can always use your table or something. Just it. So now I'm gonna make two more. So I have my three little feet, I have my body, and I'm going to decide where on the bottom I want them to be, because you could make them kind of wide set, or you could make them kind of all clustered in the middle. These ones kind of tilt out, like kind of go up and out, so I might do something similar to that. So when we're attaching two pieces of clay together, the important thing to make sure that things are really sealed on well, like things when it's like you're attaching like a leg or handle or whatever. Um, you want to score, slip, and seal, or the easier way to remember for kids, I find, is scratch, splash, and attach. So you can do that. So you can use a skewer, or like a fork even, or we also, if you have a paper clip, you can just take that apart and use that. Um, so you just want to rough up the edges, and I just kind of go back and forth. It's really nice and, nice and rough. So I'm just going to do that on all three legs. So I'm going to kind of draw it out a little bit, just so that I know where to score on my front. So then I'm going to do all my scoring, and it can just be kind of in the general area because you can always smooth it out if it's not quite, if you did a little too much. And I'm being very gentle when I'm holding this, you know, you don't want to squeeze too hard because it's kind of squishy right now. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then next we need to do our splash of water. So this is kind of like the glue in between your clay. So I'm just doing a little bit. We don't want it to get slimy. So just patting some water on there. And then now I'm going to attach. So I'm kind of holding on to the body and then I'm just going to kind of gently press and just kind of give it a little twist. I'm going to do that on all of them. And then next, we need to smooth it out because if we just left it like this when it dries they'd probably just fall off so we're gonna do lots of smoothing so now I'm picking it up and then I'm gonna support it from the inside so with my hand on the inside and then so that way I don't cave it in and then I'm just gonna use my fingers again to smooth it out if you feel like you're kind of taking away too much clay from the feet you can always grab a little more roll a really thin coil and give them little necklaces that you can then smooth out. Just so you have a little bit more clay to work with and it doesn't look... You keep the shape of your feet. I do this when I attach like handles to mugs and things like that. It's just good to have a little extra clay. Okay, so now we can smooth that out really nicely. So I'll just start smoothing down. pretty good. So at this point, I'm just going to see what it looks like. But yeah, just to show what you could do, you could always decide, like, actually, I want these a little shorter, maybe less pointy. You can just take your skewer, just chop them off a little if you want them to be a little shorter. Just do a little haircut. Right, these are too tooth-like. Let's go more for, like, cauldron. Do something a little bit rounder. Let's see what that looks like. So, the possibilities are endless. That's cute. That's good. All right. I'm just gonna put a little face on here just so you can see what that looks like. And also, I'm just kind of gonna spend a little bit of time smoothing the top out. So I'm just kind of 
holding the rim on uh, with my two fingers and then I'm just kind of smoothing it out. Getting all the little boogers off. Yeah. So let's just add a little nose on there because why not? Okay, I'm gonna do... Okay, so I'm just starting with just a little ball of clay. And when I do noses, I like to have kind of, like, I like to kind of make them look like a little triangle. So I'm just going to pinch the top. So now we have a little teardrop. This is kind of going to be a big nose. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and then you can always kind of flatten it a little bit or, like, flatten, like, the bridge of the nose so that the tip of the nose kind of sticks out. You can flatten that on the nose. Just kind of messing with it. Okay, so I have a little pyramid here. And then to put it on, I'm going to do my scratches. Paper clip. There we go. And I'm going to decide where I want to put it. So I might do like some eyes. I might do some eyes like up here. So I feel like this would be good. Good spot. Okay, now I need to look at it. Um, but so I did scratching on both and then just do a little, just a little bit of water. We don't want very much. And then we'll put that on. And then again, I'm kind of holding it, supporting it from the inside as I kind of smear down with my finger. Again, just trying, just trying to think about what a nose looks like. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always add a little bit more clay on the sides. So that's not totally a triangle. So I'm just taking just a little, little piece of clay, making like two little noodles. Just to help smooth it on. Alright. And then let's see here. Right. And then I always like to add little nostrils because I think that's kind of fun. Why not? You could add a mustache. You could do that. Okay, so to do the nostrils, I take the end of my skewer, the less pointy end, but you can use the pointy end. Um, and then basically, I'm just kind of Sticking it up its nose a little bit. Ta-da! Nostrils. <laughs> and then you can be really fancy with the rest of the face, or you can just keep it simple and just do like some little eyes. Ta-da! You can do a little smile if you want, or you can make a nervous looking little guy if you want to do that too. You can use either side of the skewer for this. It's really up to you. Or you could kind of use the paint. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, there you go. Here's your little man, girl, whoever. Um, yeah, so at this point you could go all out and like add clothes or just add stamps, add color, whatever you want to do. So, yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, so at this point, you'd want to let things dry nice and slow, so you can always cover it in plastic. Um, and just to let everything dry slowly, because if things dry too fast, they can crack. So we want to avoid that. So if this is made out of like real clay, you want to just put it under some plastic, wait a day or two, um, and then just let it dry slowly under there. There can be like a little bit of a gap between your, like to let a little bit of air in. But yeah. Um, all right. Thank you for watching.